The SaskTel Be Kind Online program is proud to present this video to help learn a bit more about anxiety and strategies to improve mental health. The SaskTel Be Kind Online program aims to end bullying and cyberbullying in our communities. Learn more at Be Kind Online. What is anxiety? The feeling of anxiety is the result of a complex series of reactions in the brain and body that helps keep us safe and alerts us to threats that may be happening in our environment. For example, you may feel stressed and use extra caution when driving on icy roads after a snowstorm. There are also threats that seem to be very real, but are not actually happening. Examples of this could include worrying about getting fired at work if you don't perform well, or worrying you won't have enough money. In this case, anxiety is occurring because we are thinking and worrying about something that might happen in the future. Future thoughts can cause a lot of stress and anxiety. Anxiety, or feeling really worried, is the way our bodies feel when we are experiencing something upsetting or overwhelming. The way we feel is nothing to be ashamed or embarrassed about. Have you ever experienced anxiety? Common things adults worry about include money, job performance, health, and relationships. So remember, anxiety happens when we worry about something that might happen. We call this futuristic thinking, which means we think about what might happen in the future. Our thoughts can become very negative and we imagine the worst possible situation. This is called catastrophic thinking and causes us to feel anxiety. We can learn to work with our anxiety by living one day at a time, thinking positive thoughts and reminding ourselves that the negative thoughts are just not true. We can also find ways to calm ourselves by slowing down our breathing, talking to someone, or becoming aware of the present moment. Think of some of the different words that are used to describe anxiety. Stressed, nervous, panic, scared, afraid, worried, concerned, edgy, frightened, fearful. These are all normal feelings people experience. Now close your eyes and remember a time that you felt one of these. What happened when you were experiencing those feelings? Were you restless, unfocused, or sweaty and shaking? Where did you feel this in your body? Did you have heaviness in the chest or stomach? Did you feel sick in the stomach? Was it hard to breathe? Did you have shaky or sweaty palms? These are all normal reactions to anxiety. It can be easier to notice anxiety in ourselves than others. Sometimes it can be very hard to tell if someone else is experiencing anxiety. Here are some examples to watch for. Rapid breathing, a flushed face, they're restless or unfocused, have a shaky voice or body, and are sweaty. Learning to deal with our anxiety takes a lot of practice. First, we need to look for signs that we are getting anxious. One sign is that our breathing tends to get rapid and shallow. This can be alarming, but it is a normal reaction. You can try this breathing exercise in an effort to alleviate your anxiety. This is best done sitting in a chair or lying down. This exercise is called box breathing and is a great way to calm your mind and body. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold four seconds. Breathe out four seconds. Hold four seconds. Now pause the video and repeat this three times. How do you feel now? Try to remember to do this the next time you feel stressed or anxious. Remember, anxiety is nothing to be ashamed of. If you ever need help or guidance, these resources are always available. Or contact Healthline at 811 for free mental health counseling or for a referral to an adult mental health clinic in your area. SaskTel Be Kind Online aims to end bullying and cyberbullying in our communities and offers youth the opportunity to get a grant for up to $1,000 for bullying prevention initiatives. Learn more at BeKindOnline.com. Your behavior online is important and your words have an impact. Remember to always be kind online.